tam świeżo z targów IWA 2018 z Norymbergi. To są targi sprzętu outdoor, głównie przede wszystkim odzieży, broni, ale także wykrywaczy metali. W tym roku oferta była bardzo skromna, jeśli chodzi o przedstawicieli z tego segmentu, którym wszyscy się interesujemy i z którego publikuje firmy na tym kanale, dlatego że wystawił się w zasadzie tylko MindLab, Fisher, Nocta Macro. W dzisiejszym odcinku pokażę Wam to, co zaprezentowała firma Nocta Macro, bo oferta Fischera i MindLaba niestety była jak zwykle taka sama, nic tam nie pokazano ciekawego, nie było w zasadzie żadnych ciekawych premier, poza Equinoxem, którego znamy już z poprzednich filmów i z innych filmów na YouTubie. Natomiast Nocta Macro, powiem szczerze, zaskoczyła mnie doszczętnie, dlatego że nie spodziewałem się, że zobaczę dwa nowe w zasadzie urządzenia, w zasadzie trzy urządzenia, Dwa w stanie prototypu i jedno gotowe, którego tutaj w ostatniej części tego filmu dostaniecie po prostu pełny pokaz. Jestem w kompletnym szoku, dlatego że no nie spodziewałem się takiej jakości wykonania tych urządzeń, takich pomysłów. E, ceny też znam, wiem, że będą bardzo dobre, nie mogę na razie nic więcej powiedzieć. E, sam właściciel firmy MindLab, pan Charles, pojawił się wraz z żoną albo z córką, nie mam pojęcia. Ja go na początku nie poznałem, bo nie znam tak tych wszystkich ludzi oglądać właśnie te urządzenia. Także myślę, że to jest też dowód na to, że ta firma idzie do przodu. Podobnie główny menadżer na Europę, Irlandczyk, pojawił się także na miejscu, mimo że ze mną wcześniej rozmawiając, no jakby zapraszał na swoje stanowisko, nie był zainteresowany dalszym pójściem gdzie indziej, ale pojawił się i rozmawiał także z głównym menadżerem Nocty Macro, więc myślę, że nawet MindLab w tym momencie widzi potencjał w tej firmie i nawet MindLab zasugerował, że będzie chciał odkupić albo wziąć urządzenia na testy, żeby je po prostu obejrzeć. To bardzo świadczy o tym, że po prostu Nocta Macro naprawdę są ciekawą propozycją w obecnych czasach. Zobaczymy jak dobrą, zobaczymy jak to wszystko się oczywiście później okaże, finalnie przełoży na końcowego użytkownika. Natomiast to, co się dzieje jest bardzo ciekawe, taka zdrowa rywalizacja i nacisk w kierunku innych firm jak Garrett, Fisher, MindLab czy White spowoduje, że te firmy, miejmy nadzieję, wyjdą ze stagnacji i zaczną operować urządzenia naprawdę w dobrych cenach i naprawdę bardzo ciekawe. O tym e, zobaczycie i dowiecie się w tym odcinku. Zapraszam do oglądania. No ilość stanowisk i rzeczy, które są tutaj prezentowane po prostu przytłacza. Taka śmiażdżąca ilość, nawet nie jesteśmy w stanie obejrzeć wszystkiego. Zatrzymać się na chwilę, biegniemy przez te hale, mamy gdzieś jakąś rozpiskę na kartce i z tej rozpiski korzystamy. Ale jak widzicie sami, to jest totalny kosmos po prostu, jeśli chodzi o ilość ludzi, wystawców. Tak naprawdę to jest tylko otwarta w tym momencie wystawa dla ludzi, którzy są z biznesu. Nie ma teraz wejścia dla ludzi z ulicy na no, zwiedzanie tej wystawy. E, może to jest dobre rozwiązanie, takie wejście będzie za dwa dni. Dzisiaj mamy piątek, pierwszy dzień, drugiego dnia też postaramy się obejrzeć kolejne rzeczy i zdać Wam relacje z tej wystawy.
that it got. And now, look. idea. So like, yes, what do you that, see the kind here? Of data processing. Yes, yes. Yeah. So what do you see here? You see that there's a long metal object and a little like a round object. Yeah. So this is an actually an iron bar and a coin next yeah. to it. Okay. Okay. It's perfect. Uh, here, for example, you can clearly see the dimension. Yeah. So it's like 35 to let's say 100. So. You know what I mean? You can easily see how long yes. the metal object is. Uh, but of course, it's very ha hard for to see the dimension for this, uh -huh. you know, because you have to kind of like scale it and try to guess. Yes. I mean, we could do it. But it's good because you have the propo proportion. Exactly. You can guess. This is detection screen. Okay. The actual detection screen. Renk, kırmızı, so, kırmızı. once you hit a metal, you know, you'll see the signal and you'll see what kind of a metal it is right away from the ID marks. Look. You see that? Is, this is parts reduction unit. No, we don't. Really? Okay. Look, here, here there's a green thing. See? That's değerli. green, that's red. So you have a non-ferrous and a ferrous metal. Şurada, bak. You see that? Şuna baksınlar. Şimdi yine aynı hareketi yapacağım. Oh no, he's gonna do that now. Sorry. Aynı hareketi yapacağım. Look, look, now the screen will slide, so you don't lose the screen, the image. Ekran benle beraber. The one, see, this is the six search mode. Yeah. This one, three mode, no motion, three mode, motion mode. Static yani. That's the non-motion mode, static. Expert need to study. Static. static. These three are static, non-motion modes, where okay. you need to go slow. Course, and these are your regular motion modes. Normal. All normal. metal, fast, deep. Okay, onların arama ekranını göster. Cavity, okay. Yeah. Cavity. Okay. 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 Okay
we get very good cavity. Uh, the trauma must change the cavity grip. I'll show you. Like we dig big holes in the ground. Look, this is a fast fast mode. Mode. Graphic mode. And if you don't want to use the sensor, okay, if you don't want to use this whole like imaging process, this is your regular detection. In real time, yeah, yeah. very important yeah. because data processing is always slow. Yeah. So this is actually the raw data. Raw data. Okay, this Not is... Not filter processing. Exactly. Okay. See, signal process level, five. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, this is like this filtered five times. Okay. So this will depend on the strength of the signal. Yes. It could be four, six, whatever. Grand noise, I know. Okay. System en uygunu zaten burada veriyor. Ama sen bu process level'ın içerisinden gezerek, tamam, mesela orada... So I mean the, the system will give you the best one. Okay. But you can actually go and check the other levels, okay. what it looks like. Okay. Okay? Burada resolution. Resolution. Uh -huh. And that's the Because it's in the archives now, you just have an option to delete it. Okay. Otherwise it would say say Kaydet veya delete mi diyor? Save or delete, you know? Yani save, kaydet, save ettikten sonra şey oluyor. When you save it, it goes to the archives. Delete yaptığın zaman yine save. And when you go to the archives, you just have an option to delete it, of course. Okay. Sonra buradan settings'ı açtığımız zaman bu ekranda bunu tarih saat, hangi mod, tabi hangi modda. In this one, we call this the dashboard. Yeah. It will give you all the info when you got this image. Yes. Okay. The date, which mode you got it in, what which frequency, frequency, which okay. exactly. So, but resolution. Uh, tell me more about resolution. Resolution, nasıl diyor sen bir. Şu işte. Tamam. Yes. O neyin algoritması? Higher is the. O otomatik olarak o sinyalin büyüklüğüne ve küçüklüğüne göre çözünürlüyor. Şu ekranda. Sen arttıramıyorsun yani. Yok, sen manuel olarak yapıyorsun ama ilk önce cihaz resolution kendi ayarlıyor. Mesela burada büyük bir şey olsaydı çözünürlüğü daha farklı ayarlayacaktı. Şu ekrana sığdırmak için. Oh, so it shows you. So this is autom auto automatic. I mean you can adjust it too, adjust it. Uh -huh. but the system will pick the best resolution okay. to fit it in the screen. Okay. Based Mesela, on yapıyorum? the signal strength. Do you çok understand? Büyük, çok büyük Let's say şey if there was a huge yeah. metal. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. ona göre kendisi düşürecek Then, diye you know, it would kind of like reduce the resolution to fit okay. it on the screen. You understand what I mean? Software processing all time the yeah. data. Uh -huh. okay. By filters or uh -huh. This is a top view. Okay. Okay. Of the. Okay. And this is the strength. Signal strength. Signal strength. Mesela signal diyor ki mesela zayıftan başlar. Zayıf signal bu renkte güçlü signal kırmızı olur. Burada mesela kırmızı güçlü signaller var. Burada zayıf signaller var. So it shows you. Okay. So if you're getting red, it means the signal is good. So for this metal at two spots, it's got a very. So you you see the vertical shape probably. What's that? Vertical shape, vertical. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. So if the lower distance to coil, it will be higher strength of signal. O zaman yaklaştıkça diyor. Şuradan şu sinyali seviyeler olabilirsin. Burası daha yakınmış. Mesela şöyle bir metal düşün. Şöyle bir metal düşün geliyor mesela. Let's say if there was a metal like this. Burada sinyal olacak. You would get the red at the top and yellow at the bottom. In the point, yeah, 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 exactly. Uh huh. Şimdi burada taradığımız alanın ölçülerini falan. Oh, this is the scanned, like this is the dimensions of the scanned area, like the area. Okay. 
Burada OK'ye bastığımızda, şurada OK'ye bastığımızda. <gülüyor> When you press OK on the screen. Te, şu anda ID bar ekrana geldi. You see the ID bar, okay. you know. And then you will see the ID of the metal, the depth. Ekranda yazıyor. Buraya OK'ye bastıkça kaç tane metal tanıdıysa. When you keep on pressing OK, it will just go, you know, it will go around all the metals, okay. all the targets, and show you the ID and depth each. for each. Yeah. 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 Burada da, yeah. burada da mesela nereye düştüğünü gösterecek mesela. Bu ne? 69, buradaymış. Bu soru var ya. Yeah, so 69, and you can also yeah. see it here. Okay? So the color is the mean what the, the ID of the scale. If, if for example... No, the color... It's signal strength. Signal strength. Okay. ID is okay. ID is 69 and you see here. Değersiz metal kırmızı. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Burada bir daha bastığımızda burada taramaya başladığım yerin <coughs> start verdiği yer. When you yer. press OK again. It's the trace of the exactly. coil. Exactly. Yeah. Start and fin. Bir daha basınca finish'e mi gidiyor? Evet bas bir daha. See finish. Okay. Where you started, where you finish. Ya yaklaşık işte bu kadar bir alan kadar so You can see how much of an area and you used. see the coverage and precision exactly. of your switch. Exactly. Okay. Huh? Okay. 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 Ve sinyal düşmüş. Sinyal hmm. şey, bütün bir sinyal var ama demek ki ben bobini gezdirirken ya yaklaştırmışım böyle tam böyle sabit tutamamışım. See you can see clearly here where you got a strong signal and where you got a weak, weak signal. signal. He says probably like he didn't probably hold the coil parallel para, all the para time. Ground, yes. Exactly. So that's why it goes like that because you the, have to hold it very stable to yes. get a, you know what I mean the same strength. So the harness is very good because from the harness. Yeah. yeah. Var zaten bak, bak orada var. Okay. Ya da metal böyle yani o anda işte şeye göre ayarlayacağım. Başka? Şey yapıyordu, rotate pan bilmem ne. Onu da yapacağım şimdi, ilk önce böyle bir çevireyim. Yani şurada bak, burada hüzmesi gözüküyor. Şurada sinyal alt tarafı, bak burada derinliğine şu alan var ya. See, you can see actually the depth too. Yeah. Şunu istersen bunu böyle küçültebilirim şuradan. You can zoom in, zoom out. Bu 50 santim sınırları arasındaymış bu metal mesela. So this this was between zero to fifty centimeters depth. You can see. You can import it to to personal computer. Bunu atabiliyor musun? Tut tut. Ya aynı bu şekilde de. Aynı. Ondan sonra mesela işte sinyali çevirebiliyor bu şekilde. Bir de şurada mesela şu tuşlar sağ sola çeviriyor. Bu da pan rotate yaparak. This is This one is called pen rotate. Bak şöyle işaret değişiyor. Şuraya bak. Pen rotate yaparak bunun ekranı farklı açılardan. Bu şekilde. Yani grafiği farklı açılardan şey yapmaya çalışıyor. Diğer bu ortadan kalktığında bu çeviriyor mesela. Hmm. Those buttons are very good because you can operate in gloves. Yes. Good ya? Yeah? Good. Başka? Bu kadar yani. Şeyi bir göster. I want to show you one more screen. Hani bobini takip ediyor. 